On this game board of a world, no game means no life. And I'm making a facts video, so I already like both. Let's just hit the start button already. What a better way to begin than with the author himself, Yu Kamiya, who is actually Brazilian. Born in Brazil, he moved to Japan at the age of seven and eventually became a manga artist. Surprisingly, he wasn't given the name Yu Kamiya in Brazil. It's just his pen name. His real name is actually Thiago Furukawa Lucas. Who would have thought I'm just as bad at pronouncing Brazilian names as much as I am at Japanese names? The Aokiya National Library in No Game No Life was actually inspired by the Library of Congress in Washington. Sadly, the Library of Congress doesn't actually have Jabril there. Would have liked to know that before the thousand dollar plane ticket. Back on Yukamiya, his partner, Mashiro Hiragi, who does the art for the No Game No Life manga adaptation, is quite literally his partner, their husband and wife. Sora and Shiro's surname was said to be Nai by the author on Twitter. This can be interpreted that their surname is literally none, or that they have no surname, as Nai in Japanese means none. So technically, their surname is nothing. In the first episode, the link in the email which Tet sends to the gamer duo is an actual link with a trivia game of No Game No Life hosted by Tet. Yeah, let's give this game a go. Fuck! Damn it! Fuck you, Tet! How was that wrong? I give up. Actually, I... I can't read Japanese, can I? Yukimiya actually released an official doujin of his characters, Sora and Shiro to be specific, and well, like in most doujin, they do the unthinkable, they... have sex. Dream sex, but sex. Seems Kamiya is a fan of incest. I'm more a fan of Stefcest. The special edition Japanese Blu-ray comes with actual panties. Shiro's panties. Not Steph's, so I don't know why anyone would actually buy that. you think their marketing team would know who Best Girl is. During No Game No Life's initial broadcast, in Episode 7, the staff accidentally stole another illustrator's magic circle design. The staff just intended to use it as a reference, but somehow ended up copying it completely. They fixed it in the Blu-rays. Adding on to that, this production woe well, was pretty funny because Yukamiya was just coming off of a tracing scandal, in which people found a decent amount of evidence suggesting he had been tracing others' art for his No Game No Life light novel art. In episode 6, Zora says that Jibril's unique way of talking reminds him of a well-known celebrity of his world. Tamora Yukari exists within the universe despite voicing another person. Basically, the voice actors voicing the characters actually do exist in the No Game No Life universe. Although the studio behind No Game No Life's production, Madhouse, has been around since 1972, it wasn't until 2004 with Ski No Waltz that a female had sat in the director's seat at the company. This person was Atsuko Ishizuka, who is now one of the leading talents at Madhouse with her TV debut of No Game No Life as the second female to ever head a TV anime at the studio. So obviously, she's not a Steph, but like Steph, she is a best girl.